I'm Lindsay Ware. I am a field technician with the UMass Extension Fruit Team. I've worked with several researchers and one of the researchers I have had the pleasure of working with is Dr. Elsa Petit who focuses on wine grapes. Um, this grape right here is a Frontenac, one of our guinea pigs. Um, this, these whole, these, all these four rows are Frontenac grapes and basically we have used them as our guinea pigs to see what amount of shoot thinning and cluster thinning has the best effect on the numbers you want to meet. So that would be bricks, pH, and all these other numbers we look for when we're looking for a good wine grape. Um, what is the level of cluster and shoot thinning that brings you the best wine grape? So we're going to talk about two different things that we do, two different types of thinning. One is shoot thinning and one is cluster thinning. The shoot thinning you can do as soon as you start seeing those shoots um, beginning to mid-May and you want to bring them down to four per foot of cordon, so four per foot of your base vine, which, is, which we call the cordon. Bringing it down to six or eight, we tried that, doesn't have a significant effect, so you want to bring it down to at least four per foot, so don't be scared to thin it back to that degree. You can do that, like I said, in the beginning of May, the, mid-May. You can also do it throughout the growing season, but it's just a little more difficult as the plant gets wilder. And then you can do your cluster thinning. Once your clusters or your flower clusters start showing up, you can do it even before they start fruiting. And it's actually more hectic as the months go on and you have more greenery going on. Crazy wild child grape here, Frontenac. It's so wild. It's like insane. So for this so for this shoot for instance we want to bring it down to one cluster. So you've got these two clusters if you can see them here. There's one here and there's another one here. You're gonna bring it down you're gonna bring it down to just this one because it's closer to the base and you want to send all the goodness more or less into that cluster. So I know that hurt this is a good looking cluster but by cutting it out You'll plump up this cluster, it'll meet the numbers you want to meet um, as far as bricks and stuff go, probably more likely than if you left this one on the vine. And the yield will actually be quite similar, it might even be more weight-wise at the end of harvest with that one cluster. So there we go, and that's for the birds I guess. Okay. <laughs>